assassins, this is Will and welcome back to another Wheel Assassin guide. You join me back outside of Steve Harrington's house and I'm not doing a Jonathan peeking through the windows. I'm actually here to teach you how to build Steve Harrington's car. So let's just go ahead and spin around this way. We're going to be building this BMW 733i today. So this is what I've represented uh, it with in Minecraft. Um, it is a really, really cool looking compact sort of uh estate car really um it is very well it's old now <laughs> uh obviously back then it was very very like top of the range bmw has always been quite popular cars and um yeah this one is a nice one and i think the scale to build vehicles in minecraft is so tricky anyways um but i'm pretty proud of the way this came out and i hope that you guys will like it too so, we only really see this car in about two scenes in the show. Now, don't hold me to that, I could be completely wrong about that. Uh, the ones I can remember though off the top of my head are the scene where Steve has just come from the fight with Jonathan uh, from the back alley. He's also with his two friends outside of the Fairmont and uh, he ends up like, you know, driving off and sort of speeding away because he's annoyed with them. Uh, fair enough. And then at the uh, end of the first series, possibly, Steve goes to return his the, the camera gift um, with Nancy um, back to Jonathan because, of course, they broke it. So it's a really, really nice little scene, that one, and uh, Steve ends up picking up Nancy in the car and then, of course, going away. So, yeah, those two scenes, like I said, I can only remember from the top of my head, so there could be more. Let me know in the comments down below if there is. But, um, yeah, I'm going to switch up my uniform and uh, teach you guys how to build Steve Harrington's car authentically as Steve. Let's go for it. Okay, so I'm outside of my second Steve house. <laughs> a little bit greedy and have two. Whoopsie daisy. Uh, we're going to take some brown terracotta, some blocks of coal, a blast furnace, actually four of these, item frames, birch buttons, blocks of iron, glass, glass panes, and finally some dark oak wood slabs. Remember guys, if I do read out any of the materials too quickly, or I do go too quickly during the tutorial, Please, of course, feel free to pause and ask any questions down in the comments below. Now, this build, although very small, has a wide array of materials, and we only have a hotbar of, you know, not enough spaces for all these materials, so we'll have to come back and get some more later. For now, though, take your block of coal, go to this road here, or wherever you like on the sort of roads around Steve Harrington's house. I'm going to drop down into the middle. I'm going to place a block of coal just here, and block away to the right, place another one. Then two blocks forward from these ones, on the third one forward, place your block of coal and do the same over here. So you have kind of four in a cluster like so. We're going to take our slabs and place two here and here like so. You can also do three along the back bumper like that. Now that's going to tell you that the back bumper is there, so that is really, really helpful. Now we take ourselves our brown terracotta. We're going to place three on the back spruce um, planks, uh, well, slabs. Then we'll also stick one, two, and three just there. Then we're going to build up ourselves one here and one here, like so. We're going to build two forward on both sides. And then three across the front wheels, and also another three out the front here. Now on this three out the front, you can knock out the middle one and replace it with a block of iron. Now we're going to take birch item frame birch item frames that would be cool but no normal item frames and stick three along the front like so then we take our birch buttons and place one here and one here on the overhanging bumper then we'll take item frames for all four of the wheels like so and then we'll stick two item frames here and here here and here and finally one here and one here for the back sort of brake lights now to say again this is a small car we do actually use quite a lot of item frames, probably more than actually the house. <laughs> That's crazy. So now we'll take ourselves our um, glass. We're going to go ahead and place three just across the front here. So we don't want to cover up the front hood area. So the, the front hood is going to be worth six blocks in total. So two rows of three. So now we need to place a block of brown terracotta either here if you want to, but you don't actually have to. You can just place your glass across the three there. So leaving that little bit empty. Then we're going to take glass panes here and here, and then place a glass block on the back as well, if you want to. Awesome. Now then we'll stick ourselves blast furnaces in the wheels, but faced kind of diagonally. 
The reason I chose these for my HUD caps is because, and the sort of rims, is because they kind of look really interesting with the little grill piece, like the three sort of grill area. That looks really, really good for a rim, so I thought that would be kind of unique to put that in there. Uh, regarding your birch buttons again, stick these in the item frames for your door handles, like so. Just to add a little tiny, little tiny, like really tiny um, bit of extra detailing there. So yeah, that's looking awesome. So now we'll go ahead and grab some more materials. Now then, at the moment, our car is starting to look like a 4x4 because the front bumper is really raised from the ground. You know, it looks like a, it's an all-terrain vehicle and we don't want it to look like that. So we get ourselves some iron trap doors, some iron bars, some white stained glass, some levers, some brown carpet, black stained glass panes, some string, brown wool, and finally some red concrete as well. Now what we actually do with the red concrete is we're going to stick it in the floor in here. Now I'm actually going to stick one in between the two blocks of coal at the front for the front wheels as well. Now this just adds a little bit of a luxury sort of look to the inside of the car. Because if you remember in the show, Steve's family is quite rich. They come from kind of a, a very, very um, high sort of background. So um, we must go ahead and make this look like a luxurious car. And it is a BMW, so back in the day, they were quite expensive. We'll take ourselves the iron trap doors and stick three along the front bumper like so. One iron bars in the middle on the iron block. White stained glass goes in the front kind of two item frames like so for the headlights. We'll take levers and place one here and here. It can either be that way, but I prefer it facing to the left if I'm honest. Those are of course the windscreen wipers. Then we'll take brown carpet and place them in a T-shape on the front bumper like so. We'll stick ourselves a string in line with the glass block for both of these. So then we can take brown carpet across all nine of these blocks in total, like so. You can also stick three on the back bumper like that. Now around the back here, we take ourselves some um, red concrete again, and you can stick it for the brake lights, or you can also use some red stained glass. It's up to you guys. Anything that's red will look great in this kind of um, item frame because of course the brake lights. So um, maybe even use some glass so you can kind of match it up with the front there. So I might just change up my material in a second. But yeah, I think that is all the materials we've used for now. Let's go ahead and get the final bits and pieces. I also might grab that glass. So the final materials I've grabbed, I've grabbed one of the same ones again. I've grabbed that glass, of course, so we can stick in the back two item frames. I recommend putting them on their side like that so it looks a little bit cooler and quite unique. Um, the slab I've got here, I was gonna stick in underneath that uh, sort of wheel arch there. So where the uh, the red concrete is now, maybe just a slab above the top there. So it kind of gives the illusion that it's there. You can't really see it too much unless you go really far back. Um, but it looks a bit better than just a block in the middle of those. So the wheels don't really look you know, separated as much. Uh, and then finally, we take a spruce sign. We stick this on the back section uh, in the middle of the bumper. I'm gonna get down to my second line on the sign. And I'm gonna write in here, 30, then I'm going to write S, lowercase s that is, uh, or uppercase, it doesn't really matter too much, 46, and then finally T, and then 2. So I might just change that S to an uppercase now. There we go. And that is the actual license plate on the BMW that Steve drives in the show. So it's a little bit of extra detailing there, and uh, yeah, just a little sort of Easter egg for any Stranger Things fans. Awesome. That is awesome really cool and well there you have it guys that is how to build steve harrington's bmw from of course stranger things in minecraft really really appreciate you all watching this far thank you so much for joining me for another car tutorial it is so fun to build stranger things vehicles as you guys know stranger things is literally one of my favorite things in the entire planet uh no pun intended so building you know small detailed tutorials like this one it's always so fun to break up the big buildings so if you guys have any more requests for cars from the series or anything from movies and tv shows i will do my very best to try and build it cars are definitely not my you know my forte i'm uh, definitely a better builder with bigger things like buildings and whatnot but uh, it is good to you know try and improve my my build styles and stuff like that so building cars is always a good one to do if you enjoyed this one please be sure to drop a like that'd be wicked Thank you once again for getting to the end of the video. 
If you're interested in staying tuned for more Stranger Things content, videos, uh, whatever else, please go ahead, join the Assassin Hood for free today by subscribing. And finally, please check out my social medias, all the links in the description below, as well as a link to my second channel, where you can find a bunch of silly and funny videos. So yeah, you guys have a blast. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and of course, stay safe. Goodbye, Assassins. Thanks once again.